What's up, guys? <laughs> it's your boy, The Rival. Ready for your interview? We're going on a little adventure. I'm getting ready. Yeah? I've been, yeah, I was born ready. subject but I do believe that a lot of people can relate to it and I know um, right. I can definitely relate to it is uh, we are both recovering alcoholics correct yes we are yes we are yep. Yep. Oh, yeah and so I know for me personally you know when I was still drinking I barely had control over my life and you know I missed out on opportunities you know severed friendships and you know I just it kind of was like climbing down the rabbit hole and you know it re wasn't really living so I guess my question to you is you know, did you have the same experience? You know, were you losing control? Did what were the negative things that happened? And what's the difference in your music career now um, that you're in recovery? Well, when I was drinking, I lost a lot of fans, friends, and opportunities. You know, I just I was going nowhere. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to love, who to talk to. I was just everything was random. You know what I mean? And now that I'm sober, it's like I can think properly, I can eat properly, I'm healthier, my stomach's not hurting every damn day, you know what I mean? And I'm just like... And I've heard that you perform better. Yeah, I do actually. BJ Clay himself actually told me, yo, Rival, like, you actually did a way better performance than you did last year when you were drinking on stage, you know what I mean? And for him to notice that, someone I really looked up to, over the years that works for the Fang Clown Posse and DJs for them, like, I was almost in tears, you know what I mean? Not to be too emotional or anything, but it's like a dream come true, you know? Like, my dreams were coming true when I was drinking, but it's like I was climbing up the ladder and falling at the same time. See what I'm saying? Right, and the term that I use is, you know, you're... Like, I'm falling up the stairs trying to reach the top, but I can never get to the top because all I could reach for was the bottom. So right. that's definitely something I can relate to, and I think a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah, I think so too, you know, and I'm just I'm just so glad to be sober right now and moving up in the world, just, uh, you know, stepping stones one day at a time, just one day at little a time. by little, you know yep. what I mean? Seriously. That's all we can do. Yeah. Yep. So. I feel a lot better, and I'm really glad that you guys are watching this interview with uh, of me with me yeah that's so cute <laughs> but now uh get ready for the next part yeah absolutely all right on an adventure yeah. <laughs> all right <laughs> so i am here with the rival at the ice tonic bring her face pizza in new haven um hopefully you can see the uh the brick oven pizza back there it's just amazing it's, i can't believe we've got a table here so really really excited great yes and um we were trying to decide what to drink. He suggested a uh, white birch soda. I haven't had this in like 25 years. Me neither. I must have been like eight years old. At least, at least 25 years. Yeah, me neither. It tastes like childhood. I love it. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. That was loud. I love it. <laughs> that was sicker. So, um, we've already talked yeah. about, um, you know, sobriety and recovery and stuff like that. Is life so much better? It really is. Like I, I can enjoy simple things like the beautiful trees and the ocean and the, the lakes and rivers. And just, yeah, not waking up and not remembering what you did last night and like how you screwed up or what you said to people. Yeah, you know? Nerve, nervous. It was just so nerve wracking. I was just like, wow, I really said that to you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I would get like heat waves of like, oh my God, what is he or she going to say that to me? Right, right, right. And, so, I mean, I, I know for myself, you know, I was sort of like out for over 20, 20 years, for sure. And I feel so much more confident in my work and professional. And, yeah, and so do you feel the same way? Is it affecting you in that way as well? It really has. Like, now I can just sit there and write my music without needing a beer and then 
oh, now I'm into drinking, so I'm just gonna listen to music and stop writing this really spectacular song that I started. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now I can just sit there and focus, write the, like a whole verse or a book, or you know, just, or the whole song right there within an hour or so. Right. You know, and I'm just not like I would wake up the next day and be like, oh my god. I had so many good ideas, but then I picked up a bottle and went, oh, oh, oh. Yep. and it's trash. Yeah, you lose all the productivity, just kind of goes out the window. And, you Stepped know. on the notepad, all the lyrics are gone. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so. so I love me so I love it. Me too, I do too. Yeah. I'm loving life right now. I'm just smiling with the Lord. Yeah. Like, we're in the iconic <laughs> pizza joint. I was just going to say, I can't wait for the pizza to get here. Yeah. I'm Italian. Are you yeah. Italian? I, I am part Italian. You're part Italian too? Yeah. Me as well. So yeah, we're in Little Italy. You know, Worcester Street, Great Cafe's Pizza. It's, you know, feel so blessed to have been able to, to get a table here, especially to get a shot. Like I said, that iconic pizza oven, you know, like, see the size of the peels that they use. Thank God. Yeah. Oh, love it. We're going to wait for our pizza to be Yeah, we will catch you at our location. Huh? Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Yo, we out here, son. Let's go. What's up, T-Style? How you doing, baby? Doing good, doing good. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. ready to uh, go on an adventure? Absolutely. Check go. it out, everybody. Loving it in New Haven. So, as I was saying, we are doing some talent scouting, okay? We're looking for new artists, such as yourself. You have any uh, new music or anything? You want to hit the stage? We got venues here in uh, Connecticut. Got a few big time, uh, big time bosses in uh, Worcester. I'm gonna stay away from the Hotel Vernon for a little bit, you know? No common. Yep, and uh, we've got uh, Sin City is hosting a show on April 28th. Yes, come check us out. And if you want to perform, hit me, T Style Baby on Instagram, or Sin City Bitch. I think she's all booked for that show, but she, she does she does one for every single month, the Just last Friday of every month. Yep. Yeah. So hit us up. Yes, right. 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 Absolutely. We got you. You know, we're deep in the hip hop scene. Got a lot of connections. Thank God. Let's go. Let's, Let's show go. you the tour in New Haven, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm T-Style, and we are here with the rival, Shakem Shabazz, and... Gary Gates. Gary Gates. Hey, yes, sir. All right, and so this is uh, their clothing store. Well, not the rivals, but um, their clothing store. And so <laughs> I want you guys to talk a little bit about you know, how you got this started, um, what your motivation is behind it. And I know that you guys do some philanthropy and, you know, everything's all tied in together. So, um, so yeah, just uh, fill, fill us in on that. All right, I'll, I'll go first, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so Shaq Cam, I've known him since he was a very young man. And, um, you know, he's also been part of the basketball program that we do in our community. So it was easy for us to have a relationship from the beginning. And then, um, you know, I was talking to him about getting a clothing store one day, and he also had the same idea. Plus, he's done it a couple times by now. So, for me, it was good to match up with him because he was the perfect person for me as a, you know, a new guy getting into fashion, the world, and the stores, and all that stuff. Like, he could educate me in that part. So, we kind of mixed immediately. It was a no-brainer. We thought it up in like an hour, and we really? was, it was on. Um, the toughest time we had with that was that we started it during the COVID period. Oh, wow, really? So oh, we wow. had to work yeah. our way through that to get to this point where we are today. Yeah. Um, but you're still here, so I mean, that's amazing. Still here. Yeah. So that's it, great. Right, Fascinating. Right. right. So yeah. it was definitely a trying time. We um, we made it through, um, and uh, I, I'm really grateful to be where we are today. Also, um, we do a lot of philanthropy work in the community um, as far as like a basketball tournament that we do. We give back to our community. We've been doing Same. it for 20 years. Yep. Yeah, that's so amazing. He was also nice. played in it when he was younger yeah, as well. Right, right. So okay. it made more sense <laughs> for me to team up with, you know, it just brings it, ties it all together. And um, like I said, we've been doing it for 20 years. Um, okay. It's a free event for, you know, uh, a lot of kids in our community. We also have a lot of giveaways and go back, you know, give back to school, book bags and oh, all wow. that kind of stuff. That's we do amazing. a lot of, you know, a lot of philanthropy work when it comes to that portion of um, helping this neighborhood out. But yeah, this is a good thing. And um, 
the young man also does music. He has yeah. his own line of, of clothing, and it, he's just an amazing, awesome dude. So <laughs> really good kinda, too. Yeah, but but that's my thing, <laughs> right? Know? So it made sense for me as a you know a, a, an entrepreneur to mix with a guy like him because it makes yeah. it that much easier. Well, that and he's that's very poli very polite, very professional. Yeah. I was very impressed with your demeanor at the show. It was great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. very respectful. You know. Your clothing store is amazing. Thank I like you, it here already. Guys. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little shot of of everything that we've got. Yeah, so what we do is we try to offer a lot of local designers a yeah. brick and mortar. Yeah. Because they can't get into a Walmart, they can't get into a Caldor, okay. you know? they right. can't get into a lot of these places that you know it's hard for them. So we give them that access to have their yeah. their stuff in a place where people can actually come by and look at it. And also, like, say if I want to do a show out here and I don't have my T-shirts ready because of whatever something exactly, such, you I can just hit you guys up and get a bunch of, like a big bundle of T-shirts to right, sell right. for merchandise right. at, at my show. Because you're you're show. always unprepared. Right, your <laughs> rival is always unprepared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's try, about the CD. Try well I'm trying to find pants five coffee, minutes though. before the show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, All the time. Oh yeah, man. I'm old school. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's like, "Yo, rival, those ain't gonna sell them." Like, what? I'm on the beach going, ten bucks, five bucks, ten bucks. <laughs> hey, but at the end of the like, day, it's, it's marketing. Yeah, it's yeah. marketing. That's, that's a good tactic. Right, as right. long as they get the information, it's one way you, you know. Yeah. You, you're making the something. You're making a claim on something. So that's exactly. Cool. Yeah. We, we also offer um, print services too. For if y'all don't know, if you need like your shirts made. Yep. Uh, for your company, funerals or whatever, we offer that here. Cups, mugs, hats, t-shirts. Oh wow! Um, yeah. Logos, like a one-stop shop here. Exactly. That's amazing. Right. We just try to give people a, a, another lane. You know, not just look at us like just clothing. We also can do branding for you. You know right. what I mean? So, okay. Yeah, given that aspect of that's help the new designers or anybody that's yeah. new, you want to come in. We, we have that. We, we're trying to offer a little bit of everything. To All them. right. I'm well, interested. And I don't know if I um if you guys mentioned this, but I heard in the podcast that like you let local designers come in and like you know, you don't charge them to is is that correct? Right. So yes. what we do with the local designer is we we get a percentage, but what we try to do is make it small as possible. That okay. way they can, you know, look at it as you know, nobody's really chopping into their funds. Like you know, an they, investment. There you go. Correct. Yeah. Right, right, right. 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 Kind of leave that up to them or what they right. want to give to yeah. the store. It's kind of like our way of giving back, right? Giving them opportunity because we know you're starting out, you know. You, you yeah. know, for some of those who already are, you know, officially who they are, yeah. you know, we probably don't have to do that for, but for those that yeah. need that, we give that out there. That's excellent. Now, what is your store called, may I ask, for the people? New Haven Apparel, the boutique. Okay. Right. So you ever in New Haven area, come check us out. Seven ninety nine Dixville Avenue. That's right. That's yes, right. yes. New Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> oh yeah. Zero six five one one. This was great, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so man. much. All the time, man. Yeah. That's what Thank we you. do. Thank Appreciate you. that, yeah. guys, man. Shout out to T Style. T Style. We love you, hey. baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That All right. So, uh, rival found something that he likes. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, and so I wanted you guys, well, um, to discuss, you know, the, the New Haven hip hop scene because Rival, I know you've performed down here and, yep. you know, Shakemi, you have as well. So, right, right. Um, yeah, so tell us like what it's about, you know, do you guys get good energy down here? What's what's the scene like? Um, definitely. New Haven is, is it's a versatile scene um, from all the way from back to the 90s from I'm, I'm, I'm a 90s baby. So I love, I love hip hop. Um, just having people who came before me. Um, rapping and stuff like that, or the DJs and stuff like that, and then after that, now, fast forward to now, you got a lot of, uh, sorry, apologize. That's alright. <laughs> Busy man. But yeah, I, I've done a show out here for GTV, and that was oh, yeah. amazing, you know, I was just like, I was hyped, I was drinking out of the bottle on stage, dancing around. Just, right, right. You know, the people too in the audience were great, I'm like, I'm willing to do more shows down here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The network. Definitely set something up. Yeah, yeah. Got a lot of lyricists out here, big on the lyrics. You know, for those who are really into hip hop, in the new scene, you got some who do the drill thing. Okay. So it's, it's a little versatile out here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's good. That's um, what's up. Definitely got to come with it, though, out here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You nice, got to come nice, hard. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he means, for real. Yeah. You got to come with the bars. It, it, See, that's what I like, are the metaphors, analogies, yeah. and all that. Yeah. In, in order for you have to have like a strong support system or a team of people supporting you, you gotta come with something. It's very competitive, right. so to speak. Yeah, really. So, be on the lookout. We got Sha 
She came to Baz right here on the rival. Uh huh. Come shop here. Yes, Let's absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, I'll take another uh, of the clothing. It's yeah. some great, great stuff here. <laughs> we're just, we're just winging it. You're welcome. <laughs> So, um, you guys talk about some upcoming shows that's go that are going on. Oh, yeah. May 18th, we got uh, Powers Industry Ready or Not for Unsigned Artist Showcase. Um, it's definitely going to be lit. Got your boy Shaquem Shabazz performing out there. Yeah. So, for everybody who want to support, um, it's a private event only. So, you can definitely get in contact with me. Um, I put you on a guest list and come have a good time. Come network, come check me rip the stage, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I do? Uh huh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Plus, we got April 28th, Sin City show. I'm Sin gonna be City. performing. You performing that? Or are you um, not sure yet? I, oh. I think I got another show April 28th. But if I don't, okay. I'm gonna I'm hit her up and I'll, Sweet. I'll be in the building. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, we're all just doing yeah. our thing. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, because I'm fresh. definitely gonna go to the Sin City show. Rival, I believe you are as well. I'm going with you. Let's yeah. get it. Yep. Sounds good. All right, yep. guys, exciting stuff. Thank you for having us. Yeah. No doubt, T-Styles. Cheers. Shout out T-Styles. <laughs> hey. <laughs> nice. Good job. We're sneaking into the Yale campus. Be very, very quiet. We're going to go check it out. Well, I don't know what this is, like dorm rooms or something, but we definitely don't belong here. Yeah. We definitely look like students. No, we? no, we don't no? at all. Oh. <laughs> we look I nothing thought the like backpacks students. didn't give us away. Oh shit, this, this is shit. nice. Oh my god, a dog. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, you're afraid of dogs? No, but I like cats better. All right, well, I'm gonna just take a little all right. panoramic. Get in there, get in there. And it's your boy Rival. Shout out to, shout out to uh, who? Yale University. Cheer. You already know, baby. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. No, let's peace we're, out. We're, we're, yeah, See you later. Out. I feel sketched out. We don't want to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> Sicker. <laughs> Sicker. It's a video. No way. Did you fuck up? This is sick. <laughs> Catch me at the Yale University, G. Hey. Hey. Yeah. There you go. Did we just invade the Yale and... Hey. No, 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 no. Try again. Yep, go. Am I in the video game Assassin's Creed? This is sick. I'm about to start scaling walls and shit. So fuck. Yo, I wanna live here. I wanna castle this big. Help me out. Support my music, therival.com. At the rival, FDK, I meant. Yeah. Alright, Rival, so there is um something kind of deep that you wanted to talk about, a message that you wanted to sort of send to somebody. We're not even sure if they're gonna see it, but um please uh go ahead and let us know what you have to say. I just want to uh, apologize to uh, my former rap partner, uh, Domination J. Uh, I miss you, brother. I'm sorry for everything that we've gone through in the past couple of years. I do miss you, you know, as a friend, no homo, obviously. And uh, yeah, you know, I know you're married now, and you know, you love her. <laughs> Sick her. Miss you, dog. Right, and um, just uh, wanted to clarify you had talked about earlier that. Um, you know, if you had not been drinking during that time, then you would have behaved very differently and you do have that regret and that's... Right, and that's a big part of my my life right now, sobriety, realizing that, you know, I've made a lot of mistakes and I've lost a lot of great friends and I didn't know at the time that it was my fault. I was being very cocky and greedy and now I'm humble and I wanna just, I wanna just give you an apology, Domination Jerry, my brother. I know that you're mad at me and it's understandable and I hope you have a great life. I love you, kid. Peace. Before the rival. 
So we are sitting in Mediterranean, Middle Eastern, and Indian cuisine. Um, I ordered a Syrian coffee, he got a water, and I'm going to make the rival try some baklava because he has absolutely no idea what it is. What is a baklava? It's a dessert made with pistachios. No way, I ain't gonna like that. I'm picky. Well, you're gonna try it anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> you're making me try everything, I love I it. I am, yeah, I told you, it's an adventure. It is fun though, I, uh, I can't lie. So yeah, this is our, our last uh, stop in New Haven, and uh, we're going to continue footage tomorrow in Middletown. Woo! But yeah, I just wanted to uh, take a look at this place. It's it's really cool. We just wanted to kind of get out of the cold for a little bit um, you know. while we're waiting for our train. So yeah. Woo! This is a, a cool random spot. We were freezing our asses off. So. <laughs> Gotta love the wind and yeah. you know, the ocean. Oh so, yeah. So yeah, we're going to wait for the baklava, and then I'll definitely... Uh, take a picture of Rival's reaction to his uh, first time trying it. I'm not, I'm not eating it. You're totally gonna take a bite. No. Oh yeah, you are. How come we went on a shopping spree? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the funnest part. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, there it is. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, that's cute. Look at that, you put it right in front of you. No way, he knew. <laughs> he knew I didn't want to try it. <laughs> So I'm gonna try this You're right now. Try this right now. Yep. On camera. Oh yeah, on camera. Oof. Don't spit it out. Don't be rude. <laughs> Fuck! I caught it. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. You eat this? Yeah. How? Well, put it down. I'll eat it. Oh, Take the son of a bitch. I will. All right. <laughs> no, it's sweet though, but mm. thank you. You're welcome. I just tried a baklava, and I'm eating with my mouth full. Look at that. Delete. You're talking with your mouth full. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Camera off. <laughs> So I'm here with Rival and the beautiful Hot Rod. So you two have been in connection with each other um, over the past couple months, but it's the first time you guys are meeting um, each other in person. So I want to talk a little bit about what you guys intend to do together and uh, like performances, just stuff like that. Gosh, it's been a lot longer than a couple of months. It's been about a, about a year. When was that ICP's show? ICP's show was like... It was about a year ago, wasn't it? I'm thinking like yeah. 2021. About two years. Oh, wow. It's I didn't know that. I didn't either until you said Wow, it. yeah. <laughs> well, we've been very busy. Yeah, so. I know. Yeah. Both well, of us. Yeah. And Hot Rod, you're very busy. You know, it's the first time I'm learning about your business, and I want you to, to talk about what you do. I mean, you do everything. That's such a loaded question, what I do. What, I do. what I'm supposed yeah. to be doing is CEOing all of the companies that, that make Beautiful People Society, which is really the movement for the beautiful mind. So it's a society for artists, um, but it has all different art departments. So I'm supposed to be CEOing it, but how can I not play in the playground that I've built? So I'm there you go. I love doing that. everything. Um, well, and that shows that you care about, you know, the, the quality of the work that you're doing. Absolutely, absolutely. They do, I've been called Donald Trump of my company because I do fire <laughs> people really quickly. <laughs> Sweet. Fire. They always come back. I may not rehire them, but they always come back. So, um, but all seriousness is just because I'm ready for what I'm doing, just like you're always ready for what you're doing. So you right. can't be everywhere, right? So it's, for me, it's hard, yeah. for me, what we're doing is that's the game plan. And if people can't see it, then that's not their time to be a part of it because exactly. it's really for the kids. See, you yeah. know what I mean? So with the summer program that we're preparing for, so you know, you can't come in and try to reinvent the wheel. The wheel is etched in stone over yes. there. Yes. So. Okay. I love it here too. It's so beautiful. I'm ready to rock the stage. Yeah, this is great. So. This is oh. great. I've been asking him for now over yeah. two years to come here. Yep. Two finally, years later, finally. I'm here. Yep. Not Hello. because he didn't want to be. I will at least say because you are doing so much stuff. Every, In Massachusetts, right? Right, right oh. now, I feel like you've got to fly. Out. Is it every month you're doing your things? Yeah, I'm pretty consistent nowadays. Is I'm it glad the same, you noticed, same you know? location? 
No, it's always like Worcester Hotel Vernon. It's um, the Raven. Yeah. Um, I've also gone to the Insane Clown Posse's event in Ohio. Mm -hmm, Dipped down to Florida with some random chick just to hang out and work down there. Check out. Do Florida not send messages, bit. random chick. Do not. <laughs> 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 no, just kidding. But yeah, it's been fun, so I'm just ready to go. I'm going to be around CT for a little while. I'm excited about this. Here F and there, you know. FYI, I rent out my tour bus, so BPS does that. Too. What? Tour bus? Yeah, you really do everything. It's great. I really do. It's crazy. Because if I don't have it and someone needs it, a client or a yeah. colleague or anything, I go, oh, I'll do that. Yeah. You know? I love that. I love that motivation. Yeah. So I can just rent your tour bus. You no could, but... Tour. Yeah. If you were more actively involved in the BPS society, then you wouldn't have to rent it. Which I should be. See that shameless plug for his career? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I will be at this point. Yeah. Let's go. All jokes aside, I'm very serious that you're going to be down here because I feel like you'll be a little more accessible for some of the things that we're doing. Like I'm we excited. The, we have the open jam on Thursdays. Yeah, so yeah. here at the Green Jungle Space where BPS Records and Studios um, is located, we do invite only. So if you want an invitation, you got to get a hold of one of your people over here. Um, we'd hey. love for you to come down, but we do that, and you could always come for that. But Sweet. we've got um, a lot of events that happen here quarterly. We have a music festival in the green that's going to be in August, Ooh. and I won't spill all the beans right now, but we do lots of great stuff. Yeah. Friendsgiving for all the artists that get together that don't have families to go to or that oh, wow. are trapped in town. We yeah, yeah. buffet all right over here. Everybody cooks. Oh, that's amazing. I love Everybody that. Cooks. Everybody she cook. Cooks. Well, I can I can help you she cook. Cooks. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah. Because we're I'm trying to poach you into this company yep, too. Yep. So I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> oh, There's for sure. For everyone. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I'm totally in. Well, and so you you guys talk about teams, right? So Rival, you talked about wanting you know a solid street team, a hype man. Yeah, I do need some help. Right. You have Seriously. me doing like your videography and photography and stuff like that. Thank and God. so you were um, hot rod talking about how you want a, a well put together team. So yes. Yeah, so it's it's. It's funny you just brought up the street team. So one one of the things I was doing today before you guys had come in was going over each department has everything you just listed. So we've got marketing for each department. We've got street teams for each department, interns from the college, stuff what? like that. So what we offer as a whole, I guess I probably could have explained this better too, is is for that. So we're not just for the individual departments that we do. It's a it's it's really hard to explain because it's so big, but we basically rewrote the Chamber of Commerce. So right. like Beautiful Beauty okay. Society is my monopoly board yeah. for artists. What? So we do the same thing. Everything we do for the public, we offer to our, our artists, whether you're on the label or not. Okay. Because we are all together in this, right? And that's what you said when I first gave you a phone call about yeah. a year or two ago. I'm like, let's go. It's like a family. I just yeah. wasn't ready that's at the We're starving artists because we're individualized. If we all work together, there's enough gold in the streets for everyone to eat. Yeah, that's a big message Seriously. that a lot of people yeah. have been talking about. You know, yep. we need yeah. to come together and just Absolutely. get it, get it popping, get it lit, make some money, yeah. have some fun. We're doing know? a lot of that with um, hybrid genres over here. That's how we're like really expanding in that yeah. way. Is it's very territorial in Connecticut. I'm from Boston, just saying. Beantown, baby. Um, <laughs> from Wartown, I'm from What's Lynn, the... from Lynn, Sin City. Get it right. My brother's gonna definitely be mad. Yeah, yeah, Southbridge. You know, vast amount of money, I got you. Ooh. So, but all that's all that stuff aside, um, you know, I've learned it's, it's like segregation in prison here as far as territory. Yeah. So I've been kind of getting involved in kind of breaking that wall down. Right. So I do have a lot of people coming up from Bridgeport. Thursday, I was telling you the guys from yeah. the radio station are coming. And we're just going to put them all in the same room and give them microphones and live beat. Let's go. You know, oh, that's great. What? Yeah, that's so great. we do a lot of that. So we have like a, a couple of my hip hop artists work with Locks and Keys where they're going to be at their on stage and they do the live beat in the background. So no it's way. like a funk, hip hop, boy. Like, it's amazing. Interesting. It's amazing. What? Oh, I'm ready to dive into new adventures. Yes, you know that's what I mean? the whole key. That's Let's the whole key. Go. Yeah. All right. So yeah, what right. else are you doing right now other than your major migration? And, Thanks for asking. Yeah. Uh, I did want to get to that. I'm actually, I'm in the midst of recording my new uh, EP. Right on. It's called Friendly Fire. Perfect. And I love it. Perfect. It's like, I love my friends, but boom, 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 shooting them all right with on. bars. Throw that the shade bars. at you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm ready to record. So with that being said, you have a studio here. I have, I have numerous studios. And I'm coming here, here. for real. So right here in yeah. the Green Jungle, we actually do recording. Um, you can hear the acoustics are pretty phenomenal. I mean, yeah. even someone that can't sing sounds like an A-plus singer. No <laughs> However, we get the sound booth and we have the control room. Um, we even have a producer what? room if you want to work on your own producing okay. your own stuff. It's sound booth as well. I need someone that can do volumes. That's my only thing. I used to engineer all the time. And we take care of everything. Spot. So we, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. Um, we get a 64 channel in there. Yeah. So that's pretty dope. I'll have to show that to you. What? Um, for Exciting. Our, for our large DJs, they connect into the snake there while you're performing down here too. So That's everything sick. Is, we like to do everything live so it's less digital editing. Yeah. You know, and I think it's a lot more authentic oh, that yeah. way, you know. So we do have that. We have a couple other spots that are in the process what? of being built. And we have a, a sister company, um, S SP Productions, in... Really? Um, East Hart East Hartford. So no way. Yeah, we do a lot of great work there. They're out of the old gallery, which is a historical studio. So it's it's a lot to bring you up there. Yeah. Oh my so. lord, I'm so ready. BPS is where it's at. You gotta get down hey. here. Yeah, love it. Fire breathing sure. entertainment too. Absolutely. I stick with that. <laughs> to do too much at this time because I got some health problems but I'll say I love you I love the country we gotta stick together all right? absolutely I like the message Like you said, music brings uh, brings people together. Absolutely yeah. does. Yep. Yeah. Moments like this, exactly. Yeah. You just never know who you're gonna meet and who exactly. comes. It's beautiful. Yeah. Keep on doing what you do. Yeah, yeah. for sure. All right, yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. Bye. Bye. Yo, what up, everybody? It's T Style and Arrival. We are coming to the end of the journey on this interview, and we are in, currently in Harbor Park in Middletown. So we've only been to two cities, Middletown and New Haven, but we've been to some really cool spots. You know, like. Sneaking into Yale, being able to eat at Pepe's Pizza, you know, shout out to Shakem Chavez uh, for uh, letting us uh, come into his clothing store, and big yeah. shout out to Hot Rod, um, who just, this woman does everything, she is a boss, and 
Yeah, so we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we really did. Yeah. I love it here in Middletown, and I'm looking forward to coming back, setting up some shows. So if you're interested, hit us up on Instagram at the Rival FTK. And what is yours? At T Style Baby. So it's lowercase T underscore style, all lowercase underscore baby. And if you want to contact me on uh, Facebook, it's at the Rival FTK. No, sorry about that. At the Rival Solo. I got a couple, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, hit us up. And uh, we're willing to work with a lot of people. Yeah, definitely always looking for new talent. And like Hot Rod said, you know, if you want to you get involved, just hit us up. And, you know, it's a lot of things that are going to happen. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. And, as always, find help, find hope. So, we're out. T-Style Arrival. Peace.